Hi, I'm going to do another video. Um, if I thought my mascara video was a little out of my comfort zone, this one is even more because now I have no makeup on and I'm going to show you how I apply my foundation and how I highlight and contour with some of the products I have. Um, there's a couple of different ways. Today I'm going to show you how I do it using the Touched Pressed Powder Foundation, um, the Lightest Color BB Cream, and the Darkest Color um, Contouring or Concealer um, Loose Powder. Um, that's using three different products to kind of get the same thing. Um, and I'll explain more as I go along. But anyway, first I start with the Glorious Primer. This stuff is so silky and so divine, I cannot express to you how soft it is. I put a little bit on my finger. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just a little bit. And I cover my entire face. That amount will probably cover about half of my face. And you put it all over, even on my eyebrows. Because today, after I do this video, I'm going to do a eyebrow and eyeshadow video. So that was one side and the same amount for the other side. And you do it on your eyelids, everywhere. Anywhere that you're going to apply makeup. The foundation will help the makeup stay on your face all day long. I say the foundation I said the foundation didn't I? I meant the primer. Will help your makeup stay on all day. So that's the Glorious Primer. I've used primer in the past, um, and I used a brand that I got from QVC. It was Laura Geller brand, um, and it was about a uh, priced about the same. And um, this one is much lighter, um, goes on much silkier and much softer, and I feel like it's kind of moisturizing my face as I use it. So I absolutely love that, and now can't live without it. Um, my the second thing I'm going to do is put on my um, pressed powder. Um, I use the Touch, and my color is Chiffon. Um, this would be my summer color. Um, I also have um, the Cream Touched Foundation. Same, it's in the same, but this one says Cream Foundation, and this one is pressed. And I have that in Taffeta, and that's going to be my winter use. Um, the Cream is better used for dry skin, and the press is better used for oilier skin. So my skin is drier in the winter, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. And I'm not quite as tan in the winter either, so the color's a little bit lighter for me, so it'll work better. So I'm going to start by putting the pressed powder all over my face. It's a really light foundation that has a, I think, a medium um, coverage. And kind of what I like about it too is that you can kind of keep layering it on if you have like a troubled spot. You can kind of keep putting it on that same spot and it will just go over and over still without feeling like really heavy makeup. Okay, so this will go all over including my eyes. And there you have it. It's all over my face. You notice it's just a really medium coverage. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how my lighting is for you, but um, I'll do my best. So that is that. So then the next thing I do is I use BB Flawless. Um, the BB Flawless, sorry, can also go on as a foundation. Um, I haven't tried it this way as of yet as a permanent all day use. I've kind of played with it a little bit, but I haven't worn it all day. Um, I also have the BB Flawless. This is the lightest color that I use to highlight. And I also have it in the, a medium color. And I have Honey for medium skin. And that would be like an all over coverage. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. So I will get to, I'll do another video and we'll. We'll do that one too. But I'm actually waiting to get the darkest color of the BB, or it's the second darkest color of the BB Flawless because I want to use all BB Flawless's highlighting and contouring. contouring. So today um, I'm kind of using three different products to show you that um, they can all be used in, in different ways. So the BB Flawless, and I'm going to get my, let's call it.
called the foundation brush and put a little bit on there. Now I'm going to paint myself up a little bit. And most of the highlighting videos and contouring videos that I've been watching um, show you highlight in the areas where the light would touch. Um, and you contour in the areas where you want shadows. So I am slowly learning more and more about makeup as I sell it and watch videos and learn. Okay, so I look a little painted and I look a little silly, but this is where you highlight. Now I'm going to contour, and I'm going to contour using the darkest color um, mineral um, powder, and this color is Fierce. And I'm going to put some out on the, on the cap and get my blusher brush. These brushes, by the way, are divine. Again, just another thing that I love. And I'm going to contour on my cheeks. And it's going to look really dark, but when I'm done, it won't. So you contour on your cheeks to kind of, because you want a shadow suck your cheeks in and up on the hairline and down the nose a little bit on either side of where I put the, the white. It would make my nose look a little long. If you already have a long nose then you probably don't want to do it. And then I'm going to do underneath here Now the other thing that I want to share with you about this um, mineral powder, and their pigments do the same thing, you can use this to temporarily color your hair. So for those of you with dark hair like mine, I take on days like today where I have some roots showing and I kind of need to get my hair colored but I haven't had time to do it yet. I don't know if you can see or not because, you know, my lighting's not that great in here. But I do have some gray going on a little bit here that's kind of showing through and I really need to get my roots done. But I'm going to take this darkest color. Again, it's called Fierce. And kind of go over my roots a little bit around my face so it's not quite as noticeable. It's fantastic. Who'd have thought? Now, I don't know if you can see a difference or not, but I'm telling you, it works. And it's just temporary. It'll wash out when I wash my hair. And I'm going to do all around. That way I don't have to worry about those ugly gray hairs showing through. When I just don't have time to get the roots done. There you go. So I'm going to contour a little bit more up there. All right, so that's all done. So now I'm going to take my big powder brush, powder puff brush, and I'm going to blend this all in. And it's all still on my face. It's just not going to be quite as painty looking. And around my eyes, I kind of like to use my fingers. blend it all in. Okay, I'm going to put my blush on. I use Seductive. And get my blusher brush. Tap it out. Never blow. Tap. Get my blush. It's also going to look dark because I'm not finished yet. And there goes those funny makeup faces that people always make that I mentioned in my mascara video. You want to smile and put it on the balls of your cheeks and kind of blend back. And I'm blending in with where I contoured a little bit. And it is dark, but it won't be. 
And finally, my final step for my foundation, highlight, and contouring is I have the color Fabulous, which is a medium color, of the Mineral Powder Concealer. They call all their um, powders concealers, which was a little confusing to me at first, but I get it now. And again, I'm tapping all the excess, and then I'm going to blend all of this in. All of my highlighting, contouring, and blush. And that's it. That's my face for the day. So my next video is going to be on um, my eyebrows and um, eyeshadow. Thanks. Bye.